Hey, hey, you guys. So I was debating. I was like, do I really want to do the catfish re recaps? But then I was like, you know what? I really like doing catfish. I'm going to watch it. So why not go ahead and talk to you guys about it, right? So this one was a hilarious one, right? <laughs> Yo, I was straight up. When, I, when it came to the part where they revealed everything, I was just sitting here like, Really, ho? Like, seriously? <laughs> like, she made me mad. But we want to talk about it. We want to talk about it little by little. We're going to get up to the part where, because I don't know if all of y'all saw it, but if you ain't see it, we're going to talk about it right now. So, the two people is Shawnee and Jack. So, Shawnee, she's from Rochester, New York. <sighs> Why she got to be from New York, right? But that's upstate. That ain't down here in the boroughs. Anyway, so yeah, she's from upstate. She supposedly met this guy named Jack five months ago, and it all started out from a random call. He called her, or something along, I think she said that he called her, or she called him and then he texted her, and then it kind of all went from there, like he was flirting with her and stuff. So he started making her feel real special, so she didn't want to like lose him out of her life. Um... But now she's starting to feel like she's some type of side chick or something like that because he hasn't really been answering the phone. And when he does hit her back up, he hits her back up like late at night. So she's like, she went through that before with her ex-husband and she's not really trying to like go through that again with somebody new. So she was like crying and everything. Like she don't want to go through this. And she had some green eyes. I was looking at her eyes like, oh snap, she kind of cute. That's different. But it wasn't even real. <laughs> She said with some context. And when I seen up close, I'm looking at the little pupil thing, and I'm like, mm, it don't look. It looked like it could be possible, but nah, because it was so bright. But if it was her real eyes, it would have been real hot. Anyway, so Jack, she shows us a picture of Jack. He's the boo thing. He has dreads. He doesn't look bad at all, and. They call her to like kind of just talk to her and get some insight on everything and just clarification so she can tell her side of the story. And at first she didn't even know who it was. And she was like, who? And she said, like, it's us from Catfish. So she does tell them that her friend is there at the moment, but she personally doesn't have a computer. I'm like, how you don't have a computer, girl? I got like three of them. <laughs> Nah, I got, I got like two laptops, a desktop, I got like two desktops and two laptops. It's crazy, right? One is Dell, one is Mac. Yeah, with both. I don't know. I'm just like addicted to like computers and the internet and just finding better ways to do certain things. And Macs can't do everything for me that Dell can do and vice versa. But anyway, enough about me. So... She um, also mentions that she doesn't have a phone with the capabilities, like with a camera or the capabilities to do FaceTime or Skype or anything like that. Like, her phone can't do that. So I'm like, girl, what you got? An Obama phone or something like that? Do they even still call it Obama phones now? Well, they call it the Trump phone. I don't know. But battle back in the days, too, <laughs> they used to call it the Obama phone. So Shawnee, like I said, she said that she's, her ex cheated on her and she said that they asked her if she technically married and she's like well i'm in the midst of getting a divorce so she kind of answered the question without answering the question like yeah you're really married you're getting a divorce but you're not divorced yet so you're pretty much still married that's that's all you had to say but you know people like to run around the bush and try to make themselves look better or not make it sound like oh i'm trying to get this other person but i'm still married type of situation because you fear that saying that sounds bad or something. So they said that this person could possibly be a girl because, you know, a lot of times when people don't show you their pictures or anything like that, you don't really know what they look like. It's possible that they could be a female. Well, she was like, you know, at this point in her life, she's open to it. If that's what it is, she'll take it. You know, it sounded like she was willing to take any and anything. She also mentioned that she was talking to this 92-year-old man that used to call her up on the phone, but I guess that kind of withered away or what, what, whatever. So, um, 
she she did show them the phone that she had, and Neve was just like, "Well, hot diggity dog, you know this? How do you text with this? Like, you can't even do emojis, you know? Like, what the hell is a conversation without emojis? Me and my homegirl, she's like the emoji queen. Like, she got she be putting me up on emojis. Now that I got this little iPod, I've been doing all kind of fancy stuff with it using the iOS 10 because iOS 10 is hot. And me and Bay, we be always putting on the little smiley faces and the you know, the hearts and the eyes and all these other little cute emojis and stuff like that. So, you know, it was it's weird to see somebody like that was borderline flip phone. Like it might as well have been a flip phone. That's that's like the classification of the phone that she was rocking. I mean, and it's not like she was an older person. I think she was like in her thirties, so I'm like, girl, like I know you could do better than that. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you could do better than that, girl. But we ain't gonna talk about her phone no more. Um, so yeah, she she's running when Neve and Max were running down the scenario, I was wondering if perhaps it could be like maybe her ex is catfishing her and trying to make sure she don't get no new boo type of thing. Because the person did call her, I think, from what she had said. So, you know, it could have been something like that where he was still trying to hold on to her. Cause I'm like, hmm, it's possible. So when they look up Jack's information, it shows that Jack could possibly be from two houses in Rochester. And they show two different numbers. And I'm like, dang, they showing these people addresses and stuff. And they showed um, the, Robert lives here. I mean, they was putting out people on blast. I'm like, y'all putting out people personal information. Did Mr. Robert give the okay for you to be put in his house and... His first name on your show? I don't think so. Like, he wasn't even really involved in this situation. So why are you putting out this man's information out there? And the lady, too. So, yeah. Like I was saying. So, Jack. Um, they looked up Jack's information. They put they pulled up this man that's 92 years old. So, they're thinking it possibly could be the old man that she was talking about. They also pull up uh, another person that could possibly be Jack. But it was a female. A lesbian from what it looks like because of the gay flag that was in her background and it's funny because Jack I think he worked at a, a hospital or he went to school for medical or something she said I, I don't think he went to school for medical because I think he just works in a hospital like in a restaurant or something because he was doing some good burgers so I remember she said something about Jack with medical no about her husband my fault about her husband being in medical something but i remember i saw him doing burgers so i was starting to think that he was in a restaurant so i don't know i don't remember that part anyway so um so the girl she she just so happens to be a medical assistant so they're like well maybe this is somebody that her ex-husband knows or whatever and that's why she's trying to contact you but it's still a mystery we still don't know <clears throat> Ooh, child was getting thirsty thirsty hoes <laughs> so that's what happened when they looked up jack's information so it's still still a mystery so the guy he doesn't answer the phone when they initially try to contact him but he does end up replying eventually via text and he says that he's divorced he was married and he said that he um he does care about shawnee and he doesn't have anybody else. So it's starting to sound kind of good. So um, they tell her and this guy does agree to meet up with them at a park. And, you know, they head out. So they head out to the park. They chilling. They waiting. They looking around, you know, trying to see the area. See who could be rolling up, you know, in a nice little car or something. All of a sudden we see somebody rolling up. Homeboy straight up has locks in his head. But, oh, yeah, before we get to that part, when she was in the car with them, she's like, they said something. And she was like, well, you know, she would need some forgiveness, too. And they're like, for what? She was like, because she lied. And they're like, what did you lie about? She was like, she sent pictures of somebody else, of somebody that she would want to be or something along those lines. So it's like, so you lied to him? You calling us trying to find out. And they asked her, you know, if she lied about anything or if this could possibly be some kind of ploy that she did. Because they've gotten 
the show Catfish has gotten catfished before by the catfisher or the catfishy. The catfishy catfished the catfish show. Does that make sense? Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, me, uh, Max was kind of skeptical even of the whole situation, but she looked him in the eyes and she assured him, no, I wouldn't do that. That's not me. You know, she, she let him know. She, no, mm-mm. So now fast forward back to that situation. So all of a sudden we see homeboy pull up. But homeboy didn't even pull up with a car, honey. Homeboy pulled up with his mountain bike. <laughs> he pulled up with his mountain bike. Cause he sees her, he's like, <laughs> like So they're like, you know him? They're like, this is your ex-husband. <laughs> Oh, this, oh, this joke was so hilarious. I was sitting here like this little, <laughs> where's my beep? This little, are you kidding me right now? Like she wasted everybody's time. She had, yo, this chick straight up had crocodile tears coming down her face talking about some, oh, she doesn't want to get played anymore and this and that. But come to find out she's the one that's lying to everybody just so she can get this man to come and talk to her. Like, seriously? So she can try to get him back in her life. So, yeah, she lied to them. And she's he's like, her name ain't even Shawnee. So they're like, what is your name? And she's like, Ebony. <laughs> they're like, so you lied to us about this even though I asked you about it. And you lied about your name and you sent him some false pictures. <laughs> so then come to find out his real name isn't Jack. And she was like that she lied about her name because he lied about his. He's like, well, I'm not going to tell a stranger my government, like my real name. Why would I do that? I didn't even know who you were. You texted me from a... So the whole thing was she texted him from like a new number and he didn't know who it was, so she took that as the opportunity to just, you know, be flirtatious or whatever. Or, no, she tried to call him from the new phone, and he ain't answered, and then he texts back. And then he was being kind of flirtatious, so that's how everything kind of went down. So she took it, and she flew with it, honey. She didn't even run with it. She flew with it. And she was like, it's crazy how he was able to be the perfect person for those five months that they were going through this. But for 16 years, he put her through hell. Like, he cheated on her and did all these things to her. And um, she was like, she doesn't want to have to be a different person to be loved. So he was like, that he looks at everybody. He was like, that she got a problem with that and he doesn't want to compromise. There's no compromising with him if you want to be with him. Like, he's going to do what he wants to do and that's it. He's going to look if he wants to look. If he wants his cake, he's going to get his cake. And if his cake wants to come back and give him some seconds, he's going to take that too. I was like, well, hot diggity damn, honey. You don't filter nothing. You're going to let them know what it is, aren't you? You ain't got no shame in your game, Mr. Brandon. He was just making me sick because, like, he was just on some next level. And she just seems like she didn't have a lot of... <sighs> I don't want to say respect for herself, but she didn't have, she wasn't strong enough to realize, like, girl, he's disrespecting you in your face. Like, he's telling you that he's going to do whatever the hell he wants to do, and he doesn't care about your feelings or whatever you're trying to do. Nah, it's not going to be like that. He's going to do what the hell he want to do, and that's it. And you're going to either have to accept it or do what you, or be out because he's not changing, and there's no compromise with him. So if somebody's telling you that, why would you still be trying to pursue them? So they talk to him alone or whatever, talk to her, and then they end up leaving for the day. And um, when they're talking to her in the car, they tell her, like, you know, you really need to get it together because we don't see why you would want to be with him when he's like this. Like, he's obviously not trying to be the person that you want to be. You don't want to have sex with other people. He does. So how can you... How can you pretty much, like, be in a relationship like that? Like, that ain't popping, you know what I mean? Like, that's not cool. So, the next day when they actually meet up, 
they and she did reveal that she's scared to be alone and that's part of the reason why she is fighting so hard and that's why she put all this together because he wouldn't talk to her and she doesn't really want to be alone after she, he's the only one that she's been with He's the only, you know, when it's when that's the only thing that you know, that's the only thing that you are used to, it can be scary. I mean, it's just like getting a new job after you've been with a job for so many years. Like me personally, I was with my last job for, what, 13 years. So, you know, going out and doing something else in the real world, like being an adult now is like so different. Like everything is so different. And, you know, it's the same thing. Like I remember when I was with my son's father when we was breaking up and stuff, it was hard, we, even though I knew he wasn't good for me and we would fight and, you know, it was crazy. I felt like he was what I was accustomed to. He was the person I lived with. He was the person I loved and everything like that. So I couldn't see past the good, you know, those little good things. I couldn't see past, you know, those. I didn't see all the bad. I just was pushing the, the bad under the rug because I wanted to be with that person because I was so accustomed to them. And that's the thing that keeps a lot of people together, even like in shitty relationships, you know, shitty marriages, they stay together because they're fearful of the next step, the next phase in life of, of dating, of going out there into the real world, you know? And so the next day they meet up <clears throat> and they both like actually have a nice conversation. Like he was really sounding like a really, like he had an epiphany overnight, like Somebody came to him and hit him with a hammer while he was sleeping and he just really woke up and now he was present in the conversation and he didn't look like complete a-hole. So he talked to him and he said, you know, it was kind of the way he was brought up and he never really talked about his feelings and, and that's, that, that's perfectly, you know, it could be honest and there's a lot of people like that that they don't know how to express themselves because they weren't brought up like that. I know I'm not really like, you know, I kind of changed myself to be able to talk about my feelings because I didn't grow up like that. Like, nobody cared about, oh, how do you feel today? Nah, we ain't have that, you know? It was like, suck it up, you know, take your beat in and go along about your business. It wasn't none of that baby and stuff. So that's, that's pretty much what he said was his issue. And she tells him the way she feels. And she just kind of says that she feels like this is not healthy. She can't do this anymore. And I'm like... Yes, Ebony, Shawnee, whatever you want to be called. Yes. So it does seem like it really this like even though this is what not what the show is for, it's not for like divorce counseling and things like that. It actually was able to help, although she was very deceptive in the ways that she came about trying to go through this process. You know, she's like, Oh, I knew that you guys weren't gonna help me. Yeah, damn right they weren't gonna help you because that's not what the show is about. So you pretty much lies your way to get on the show. Like, there should be some kind of penalty or something for people that lie. I mean, I really don't know behind the scenes, but it should be. Because don't they get, like, a stipend or some kind of money for being on the show? Like, you getting money and you lying? Nah, that ain't cool. I mean, it's good conversation, though. Anyway, so six months later, they show her... They show them and everything that they've been doing. So they really have had like a lot of growth in their relationship as friends. They're not together, but he, from what she says, he comes, he sees the kids, he takes them out. I see them making breakfast early in the morning. He looked like he flipping pancakes. So I'm like, you know, I feel like it's good that they're, they've ha they have this relationship again, but I think that there should also be boundaries. It looks like he's there a lot. It looks like maybe he even sleeps over. I feel like they're most likely crossing the limits and crossing lines because they're, I mean, she didn't say they were officially divorced or anything. So, I mean, it would be good if they work it out, but it does, they didn't, never said anything about working out their relationship. She just said that he's there for the kids or whatever. You know, that's always a good excuse. And I just kind of feel like they're most likely sleeping together. Because they're so happy, they seem so good, they're smiling, laughing, joking, cooking food for each other and everything else, spending family time. And that can definitely hinder her from being able to move forward as well because if you're, you're still in this type of relationship and holding on to this relationship that you're no longer in, 
then you're most likely going to still have that mentality. You're not going to want to move forward because you're waiting and thinking that he's going to want to get back with you when that might not even be the case. He's just really there for the kids like he really said he is, but she might think that it's more than that. So I don't know, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down below. But um, it seems to have helped them and they've moved forward and she actually had regular brown eyes <laughs> six months later and a cool, nice little hairstyle. But I was like, see? I caught you because I wasn't sure about the eyes. I told you in the beginning, but then I caught her in the end <laughs> in the six month recap thing that they had. But that's pretty much it, you guys. That was the episode. It was kind of like one of those where it was a mystery until like towards the very end, which was cool. I like when it's not like too like, oh, clear pink try. Like there it goes. We know what's going on. That's what it is. You know, I like a little mystery. So, yeah, definitely um, if you guys are going to continue to watch and be interested, like, share, comment, then these will keep on coming on Wednesdays. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.